As requested by the Neon Tetra Aquarius, uh, I will do a Neon Tetra Care video today. Keep in mind that I am a little bit short on Neons and I have five of them in this tank currently. Um, but since I only have five of them, they don't school and they are very, very territorial. And this is basically a lesson on keeping your fish in schools. Because even, even when you lose fish, um, I'm currently quarantining two cardinal tetras to go with this school of neons. Hopefully they school, hope, and maybe they won't, which would kind of suck. But yeah, moral of the story is keep them in somewhat large schools. Of course, uh, a lot of people will say that neon tetras they absolutely need soft acidic water that they need these conditions or in order to thrive which i find is true but is not 100 percent necessary what i mean by not 100 percent necessary is is by that they will survive in uh hard water alkal alkaline water really not very adequate conditions for these fish, but they will definitely survive. The water I have them in currently is almost at eight. And you can tell even my rummy nose, wherever they are, there's only four of them. And that's also really bad as well. I'm also quarantining two more rummy nose in this tank. But uh, yeah, keep your fish in schools. Please do that. The reason why my water is so hard is because, well, I use tap water, and in certain places you might have soft water, other places you'll have hard water, other places you just have completely neutral water. Well, for me, I have extremely hard water. Water, the, the, the water that usually comes out of our tap is around 8, 8.0 of the pH, and more than what uh, these test strips can uh, will tell from the hardness so basically the total hardness in our, my water is over uh, 300 parts per million and that's ridiculously hard but you can see that my neons are alive and the only reason why they have been dying off is because of this filter I've been putting a bit more filter floss to cover up the sides because sometimes when it gets clogged a bit uh, whenever I'm not home at times they they just seem to get sucked up inside and kind of sucks. With my excuses aside, um, they do uh, they do very well in soft and acidic water. Of course, it's not needed, but they will definitely thrive. They'll do much better than in my tanks right now. Uh, neon tetras, they they generally can tolerate anything from probably six, maybe even 5.5 pH, all the way to eight, because my water is pH of eight. Um, and a total like, general hardness, um, over 300 parts per million to maybe around almost zero. Don't quote me on this, considering that I've only had maybe 10 months experience with Neon Tetras. They also really do appreciate a planted tank, like this. A bit over planted, some people would find this to be attractive. I find this to be kind of annoying because this Ambulia just keep coming up and up and up. Anyway, it's getting a bit off topic. but. They really enjoy lots of plants, cover. Um, if you have a ton of plants uh, covering the bottom, dark substrate, it helps. It does uh, give the plants, uh, it, it helps with the plants and the colors and it's more attractive, but you definitely don't need dark gravel. And yeah. They are generally peaceful with all the other fish in this aquarium. Uh, 
of course they aren't too peaceful with each other and they don't school if you have a very limited number of them and they will become very very territorial and that's not very good so always keep them in somewhat large schools of over six definitely because I've kept schools of six they would just peck at each other they're really boisterous and try to attack each other and kind of it's kind of annoying for neon tetras uh, t for tank mate wise most tetras are fine um, larger things like well more nippy things uh, like serpy tetras they they shouldn't be avoided but take precaution uh, angels of course I see him chasing them back and forth, but he's never really able to catch up to them. So always keep in mind that large fish, anything that can fit into a fish's mouth, uh, they'll try to eat these guys. And that's never fun to watch. Uh, and it kind of sucks, because when you lose a fish, you got to buy another one. And yeah, it's just a bit annoying. Things like rasboras, uh, smaller barbs will definitely do well as well. Plecos, um, some catfish, Cory's will definitely do great with these guys. Snails, uh, coolie loaches, loaches will do fine as well. I would recommend a school of maybe eight to twelve. Or Definitely more, um, but yeah, always keep them in schools. Bare minimum tank size for a large school of maybe uh, more than 20. Uh, 20 gallon would be fine if you just had neons, maybe a couple other fish. But if you were to go bare minimum, which I would recommend be 8 to 12, and I'm not even doing that because I'm a terrible fish keeper, but an eight to 12, uh, at least 10 gallons. I would not keep them in a five gallon tank. It'd be a little bit cramped and there's not a lot of, f of flow and you can't really keep eight to 12 neons in a five gallon tank and let them grow up well. So yeah. Thank you for watching and listening to my very, very annoying rant on Neon Tetras. What they can do and what they can't do. What you can keep with them and what you shouldn't do. What you should do and what not. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like. Do whatever you have to do. Uh, I greatly appreciate it if you guys gave me tips, advice, what I should do within what my power of, of changing in this aquarium. And yeah. And to all the people that watched my videos um, and the subscribers, because more people watch my videos than are subscribed. Whoever did check out this video, uh, please check out Neon Tetra Aquarius. Uh, he gave me the idea of doing this video. I've done one in the past. Uh, my ideas have changed. My opinions have changed from then. And yeah, check him out. Uh, he, he he probably has much better videos. He's got videos on live bears, shrimp, plants, all sorts of species profiles and stuff like that. Check him out. And yeah, thanks for watching.